Hey guys, how's it going? Go see Rich here today with Mika. Mika turned three yesterday. Pretty exciting stuff. She's been on the channel now for three years, ever since I got her. Well, I guess maybe closer to two because I didn't get her till June, but I did film her the moment we got her. Huh, Volkswagen looks good too. As you can see, the hood is popped because it's charging up right now. And I think I'm gonna insure it this weekend because guess what's not working? The Jeep. Well, Rich, why isn't the Jeep working? Thought you had the ECU, I thought you had everything. Well, they sent me the wrong ECU. Which ECU did they send you? They sent me one out of a 300C. Oh, they both use an egg one and they both use 5.7. Where does your problems lie? Well, I had the guy out from Dodge, my buddy Chris there. We will give you a really cool video later, trust me. But, 300C uses a body control module. The Dodge Challenger and Jeep use a tip of that little box right there. The problem is, is when it sends the signal to the ECU or from the ECU down to the vehicle, that tip of them is shutting the whole system down. The reason why is because it doesn't like the signal. We have to have a Challenger ECU and that's what I ordered. Fortunately, we shipped the wrong one. So, what does that mean? Kind of stuck until it gets air freighted over. Should be here on Wednesday. When it does come I'm here, I will get a video up momentarily afterwards. I promise you that. Um, what else? Oh, exhaust. Cool thing, had my exhaust guy out. We already have the entire plan laid out. He's already starting on it. All we're waiting on is some parts I ordered from Summit Racing. Stay tuned, I think you're gonna love the sound and the look when we're done. Not even gonna tell you what brand I went for the resonator and the muffler yet, but I will tell you this, it's gonna sound good. Anyways, wanted to give you a bit of an update. I'm going to be posting over the next couple of weeks um, some shortened videos. My other videos are quite long because I wanted to be thorough. For the people that are maybe a little bit more advanced on doing these engine swaps, I'm doing little things so they can just watch little bits and pieces they have to alter, and then the rest they can just go through and not have to sift it out of my 150 minute videos. Anyways, thanks again for watching. I hope that this gives you some insight, and I'm filming this on my phone, so I apologize. It's gonna be a hot dog instead of hamburger. That's about it. All right, press like if this video excites you in some way. Stay tuned. Progress is always happening. Sometimes it just happens a little bit slower than we'd like. Hoppins. Hmm, that's like a turtle and the hare kind of story sounding thing that just popped up. Anyways, see you later.